The City of Amarillo's Coming Home program is getting a huge injection of funds after the City Council unanimously approved a grant from the state. Tonight, how that program will use the money to get more homeless people off the streets and into permanent housing. That story from your local election headquarters. The City of Amarillo's Coming Home program has already helped to house 130 homeless individuals. Now, it's been awarded more than $1.27 million from the Texas Department of Housing and Community Affairs. And so what that's going to basically do is double our team. So uh, we're going to have about another 10 positions to our program. And uh, over the next, it's a two-year grant, uh, we're going to be able to uh, hopefully outreach to over 100 individuals and house over 80. Community Development Director for the city, Jason Riddlesberger, says this year's point in time count revealed the homeless population jumped up to 539 and 368 of those people are unsheltered on the streets. Those are the people that we, we can truly make a difference. I, we get them off the streets and get them into shelter and get them the things that they need in order to be successful. That's what this program does. And in order to do I mean, Basically, we can solve homelessness with enough staff, with enough money, and enough homes. Riddlesberger says while more than 500 homeless people seems like a high number, it's manageable. Uh, so we've got this team that we're going to be able to push out there and really start to focus on getting them into housing. We've got housing vouchers. We've got the ability to get them into housing. Now we've got to find those locations because right now we do have a little bit of a shortage of uh, rental, uh, rental places in Amarillo. He encourages landlords who are interested to reach out to the Community Development Department for those available HUD vouchers. Riddlesberger says he's hopeful for more resources in the near future, likely in the form of more grant money. He says the Coming Home program has an 85% success rate across the country.